Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm Cindy with CNC Treasures and this is my crafting channel. Hi, I'm Matthew Coleman, uh, Cindy's nephew. And today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. I've already put down my base paint and now I'm going to be using these colors and I'll show you on the way. So first I'm going to do a silver a silver uh, around. I really like this color because it's really pretty and it stands out. Now we're going to be using this color. This is Liquitex Tello Blue. Phalo Blue. Phalo Blue. All right, let's go. This color's nice, too. And then now we have Art Mines Metallic Umber. And now we have Artist Metallic Coal Tall Blue. Cobalt Blue. Cobalt Blue. That one's hard to come out, so you gotta turn it up and squeeze it hard. Should I shake it up? No. Right. Just squeeze hard. Yeah. That's really pretty. That's one of my favorite colors to use. I like how this is, kind of like that. All right, so now we're going to blow dry this. Now you have to figure, do you want to blow in or out? I'm going to blow in. Okay. Do it on low. Is it on? I think it's because you got a lot of pain in there. Okay. 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 Let me tell you what you can do. Turn off the blow dryer. Now you can pick it up and you can shift it around so the paint spreads out and manipulate it around. And then blow dry it again? No. Then you're going to torch it. Alright, this is looking really pretty, y'all. I, I, I'm surprised that this color came out looking like this. Just so the camera can see. It's a very pretty color. Let me know, and my aunt know in the comments that which I'll rate this from one through ten. Looks like a like a mythic snake skin mm -hmm. or something. Then 
tilt some off that other corner. Yeah. This is looking so good. It's moving pretty. Yeah. It looks like a, like a, like it should be like a rock, like an ocean rock. Okay, now bring it back. Now set it down. All right. If we had an this painting. Now flip it around. No, just turn it. Uh, turn it again. Now pick it up and tilt it so you can get the paint off that side. Okay. Because if you have too much paint on it, it's going to crack when it dries. It's moving. All right. I see something in there that we're, not, we're probably going to have to use the tweezers to get out. I'll go get the tweezers. I see it right there. Mm -hmm. Wait till you set it down. Okay, I think you moved enough paint off. Oh my god, that looks gorgeous. You yeah. like it? Yeah, I love okay. this one. Set it down. I took Nana's dance video, kind of. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want yeah. something to wipe your hands? Yeah. You should make this. Like a... Don't get it on your paint. If this had a name, it would be by the ocean side or by the seaside or something. Okay, so name it that. Alright. Then take the tweezers and get whatever else you saw. Alright. I don't think I see it. Oh, it's right, one right there. And then torch it. I really love doing this painting stuff now. Don't move it too slow because you don't want to dry it out. See how the sails are popping up? Yeah, and that looks way better. I know whoever gets this is going to love this. You like it? I didn't even know I could do something like this. <laughs> okay, YouTube, let us know down in the comments what you think about Matthew's second Dutch pour. He actually did one a couple of years ago when I very first started. And this one is a much nicer flow than the last one he had. So you did good. Thank you. And... Peace out. I'm glad that I got to come on her channel today. And I want to know what y'all think about this painting. Just put it in down in the comments and share this video and like. Right. Have a good evening. Bye.